The sense of smell can powerfully affect behavior, but we have very little understanding of the underlying neural mechanisms. My lab is studying how specialized odorants, such as pheromones, can stimulate the brain to generate stereotyped behaviors, such as aggression, attraction, and fear. It has long been observed that when exposed to predators like cats, rodents display a collection of behaviors reminiscent of fear in humans. What is surprising is that predator odors alone can induce these fear-like behaviors in rodents, indicating the importance of the olfactory system in such defensive responses. One of the quantifiable behaviors exhibited by mice is physical avoidance. In its home cage, a mouse will spend most of the time away from the source of predator odor, collected on a piece of medical gauze shown here on the right. Interestingly, this defensive avoidance is induced by odors from many different predator species, such as cat, snake, and rat. In addition to avoidance, other types of defensive responses are innately exhibited in this paradigm, including episodes of stereotyped risk assessment, and the production of stress hormones. This also occurs in laboratory rodents that have never before contacted a predator, implying that the response to such odors is instinctive, not learned, and that the organization of the underlying neural response is genetically programmed. However, the importance of olfaction relative to the other senses, the identity of these predator odors, and the types of sensory neurons that detect them are mostly unknown. When a wild-type mouse is introduced to an arena with a hiding box on one side, and a predator such as an anesthetized rat on the other side, the mouse retreats to the box to avoid the rat. Mice lacking the function of an olfactory subsystem, the vomeronasal organ, do not avoid the rat and instead actively investigate it. Therefore, vomeronasal function is necessary for these defensive responses, even when other sensory information is available to the mouse. Having identified the sensory organ involved in these defensive responses to predator odors, we next set out to investigate the molecular nature of the signals. We chose crude rat urine as our starting material and fractionated it while tracking the fear-inducing bioactivity. Mass spectrometry of the final fraction identified its active component as a member of the major urinary protein family. A pure form of this rat protein, produced in the lab, was sufficient to induce fear behaviors in mice and activate a subset of olfactory sensory neurons. We also studied the brains of these mice and saw strong neural activation in olfactory areas. To better understand the logic behind the responses to predator odors, we isolated the fear-inducing cue from a second predator, the domestic cat. The rat protein has a homologue found in most mammals. We tested the cat homologue and found it also to be a potent inducer of fear in mice. The evolution of the receptors for this family of proteins may provide a molecular mechanism for mice to sense a variety of different threatening species. Interestingly, mice also produce major urinary proteins that have been shown to act as pheromones that mediate aggression between male mice. Mouse, rat, and cat major urinary proteins are phylogenetically related, though they do not trigger the same behaviors. Through calcium imaging, we found that predator mups and mouse mups activate different populations of neurons. We hypothesize that this differential activation each encodes distinct behaviors. Though humans do not sense MUPS, we expect these studies to provide the means to identify general principles of how the brain is organized to detect, interpret, and respond to odors.